Sandland, the land of sand. Hello and welcome, Chris, back with another sales haul. Um, I was looking uh, into my collection a little bit further and uh, I realized that there's some more stuff that I would like to put out to the market, especially since it was uh, very successful the last time, very popular. Um, so let's start. Um, the first item I have, again, we're talking about vintage stuff, right? Hard to, hard to get um, designer fragrances and uh, one of them is a Francesco Smalto for men. Uh, this is the 1987 version, a typically smoky Italian 80s powerhouse fragrance. Francesco Smalto, quite rare, uh, not very easy to obtain, depending obviously a, a little bit where you are located. Um, and the bottle is like a 100 ml bottle and it's probably two sprays that I lashed out from this one. So Francesco Smato looking for his, his, his new owner. Let's travel to Germany, Wolfgang Job. Freigeist, very rare at this stage as well. Freigeist, a great freshy, um, quite special stuff uh, from the Wolfgang Job line. And um, it's a 90 ml bottle with about, I would say 85 ml left in there. Um, I love the juice, I have a backup of this, so um, if anybody is interested in Freigeist from Wolfgang Job, let me know. Another Italian beauty, Luomo, Odetto that Luomo Trussardi. This is a fragrance from 1995 displaying a fantastic um, tomato leaf note, very, very special, very Italian. Um, it's a 100 ml, comes with a box, actually Francesco Smalto comes with a box as well and there's no box to Freigeist because that's a tester. This one is a, I sprayed it three times, uh, 100 ml, comes with a box, Trossagli Luomo, extremely rare, especially in this condition that you have here. It's basically like, like totally new. Um, Loder for men from 1985 again. Uh, this is the version with the red cap. Here you can see that it's a red cap. Now it's being, it's still being sold, but that's the, black cap okay uh, this is the red there was three different caps that was originally the, the at the very beginning 85 the golden cap then there was the green cap and then it's the black cap uh, i've heard that the black cap is not as good as the green and and, and gold one uh, this is a tremendous flowery um fragrance from 1985 from the house of Estée Lauder called Lauder for men um, and it's a 100 ml bottle, I'd say, with 90 ml left, a milliliter left in there. Um, another one, the vintage Aramis Life. Um, with this, your Aramis Life is still available, but not in this bottle anymore. Um, it's a very exotic smelling juice. And I'd say it's a 50 ml bottle. Um, and I think maybe, pah, I would say, 45 ml still left in there. Um, anyone interested, let me know. I'm happy to uh, sell this to you. There's no box to this one, and there's no box to the law there either. Um, and then, a big rare stuff again. I reviewed this, I used it. Um, Steve McQueen's Legend, Pour Homme, released in 2012. It's, it's, it's basically unavailable wherever you go. This is the 100 ml uh, Eau de Parfum. I think I have the box for this somehow, somewhere. I'd say it's about um, 75 mil left. It's a tremendously nice, bright, um, orange, narrowly type of, of, of smell. Um, to me, it smells like your orange juice that you, or at least the vibe of the orange juice that you have with your breakfast. Uh, a, a tremendously lovely fragrance. I have a backup bottle of this one as well. Steve McQueen, uh, legend, pour on. I think it comes with a box. I have to check actually. And another special. This is, this is a very special collector stuff. I reviewed just this just recently. Ginestet Le Boissé. Um, comes in this tremendous uh, wooden box. This is the uh, Ginestet is a winemaker from Bordeaux. And this obviously evokes the, the, the feeling of a, a wine bottle, of a Bordeaux bottle. Uh, it's a very, it's a, it's a woody vetiver smell, um, and the the uh, the idea of this launch was to um, create a vibe of a 
uh, oak barrel smell uh, where you have wine being stored in and it, it it they did a pretty pretty good job on this one you have the description in here as, as an inlay in this in this fantastic presentation box here as well it's a hundred mil and I, I i actually i used it a bit but only a bit i think about um 95 milliliters still left in this fantastic bottle i mean <laughs> even if you don't use the fragrance uh, itself as i did i actually i had this in the cooler and the wine cooler good place to store a wine fragrance in a wine cooler but this is just a tremendous display and um and i'm happy to sell it as i'm downsizing my collection obviously uh um and um you know because i'm never never going to use all the fragrances that i have um, so um, I'm happy to sell these to the to the right people and and as I say the last sales hall was very successful I'm happy to do the same again. So what we have was Le Boisé from Ginestet, Lauder for Man with the green cap, right? Luomo from Trossardi, this wonderful tomato leaf beauty, spicy Italian beauty. The good old vintage Aramis life, just the, you know, remember when um, Andre Agassi was the uh, marketing for this one, a great exotic fragrance, fresh. Um, Steve McQueen, extremely rare, um, great part of any collection. Joop Freigeist, again, very rare. Um, and, and again, it's a very, very nice scent, especially for the upcoming uh, springtime. And last but not least, Francesco Smalto from Man, the good old um, 80s bottled, Italian 80s by bottle here um, and uh, this comes with its box so that's the fragrance haul for this time let me know um, in here below in the comments if you're interested um, I'm very happy to uh, to agree uh, pricing shipping and all that just like the last time I did with with several of my subscribers thanks very much for watching this was Chris and I'm going back to the kid because I, I think I heard uh, no, yeah, there's, there you go. Here it is. That's it, exactly. Uh, I'm coming. Ich komme. It's daddy's call. It's daddy's call. Uh, this is so beautiful. Um, talk soon. Let me know if you're interested. Cheers. Bye-bye.